And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hi everyone, and now for your Alaska weather show. Starting out with our forecast, Friday, October 17th, 2025. So for our hazardous weather, we only have a couple of special weather statements out. Uh, one is for snow squalls uh, on the Seward Peninsula, and the other one is for some accumulating snow in the uh, central interior around Fairbanks. So for our satellite image, note a system starting to develop between ADAC and Onalaska. Also, we have some uh, uh, clouds indicating some skiffs of snow all the way down almost to Bethel and then across to Fairbanks in the uh, satellite imagery. So you can see that low spin up. It's west of uh, Unalaska at this point. And then we get uh, a, a little movement on that precipitation that's in the northwest and moving over to the central interior. So for tonight's weather, a pesky 1,003 millibar low up in the Chukchi Sea uh, with a cold front, pretty weak one, but nonetheless enough to generate some snow, uh, stretching down into the central interior and almost to the Alaska Range. So that's causing uh, a snow over uh, many sections of the mainland ports of the state. A 1,016 millibar high. Uh, just off Cape Ramonsoff, and that is uh, uh, building in a little bit. We also have a series of lows in the Gulf of Alaska, uh, 980 millibar parent low, and a 985 uh, millibar triple point where the occluded front meets the warm front and the cold front. And that's off of southeast Alaska, causing a little bit of wind and, and uh, uh, some precipitation there across southeast. And then we have another developer, a 1,009 millibar low out by Shimia. So by Saturday, uh, the low is consolidating south of the Aleutians, 979 millibars. It's uh, uh, got a very tight gradient and an occluded front around it. Fortunately, none of that wind is really making it into our uh, area. But it's also attached to a 1,004 millibar low uh, in the northern Bering Sea with a cold front extending southward uh, to connect to that low. In the meantime, that high pressure that I was talking about, uh, still about 1,015 millibars, and now it's over uh, uh, almost to Norton Sound. Uh, so for a little bit of a break in the weather for the west coast. In the meantime, uh, still a low in the Chukchi Sea. Uh, that front is really, really weak and falling apart, but still causing snow uh, from the Chukchi uh, and uh, all the way down to the central interior. And then, of course, the mountains around that, including the Wrangell St. Elias, down into uh, the northern sections of southeast Alaska, uh, particularly over the higher terrain. And then uh, the low that was uh, uh, consolidating in the Gulf of Alaska has slipped down to the southeast, 987 millibars, but still enough of uh, a lift going on with that to cause uh, rain over much of uh, uh, the panhandle and snow over high ele higher elevations. There, so on Sunday, we've got a couple of critters coming. First of all, 980 millimeter low out by Shimia with a full occluded front. Uh, some wind with that system uh, uh, going to be affecting the Aleutians. In the meantime, a pesky low pressure system, 1,003 millibars out by the Bering Strait, uh, still causing some snow or some mixed rain and snow. Uh, also uh, on up to the North Slope, uh, uh, right along the uh, uh, Arctic coast, and then also for uh, northeastern uh, mainland. Then we have a 968 millibar low that rapidly developed from that one that was south of the Aleutians, and it's going up into the Gulf of Alaska to die. So it is 968 millibars, plenty of onshore flow for Kodiak Island, the uh, Alaska Peninsula, uh, some pretty windy conditions there. Uh, in the meantime, it's also forced aloft enough precipitation to continue 
for the uh, northeast Gulf Coast and also for uh, southeastern Alaska, uh, lower elevations, rain, or maybe a little bit of mix, and then uh, uh, higher elevation snow, and that allowed for some snow all the way up the Alcan as well. So then for Monday, uh, that low starts to die out in the Gulf, 979 millibars off of Prince of Wales, full occluded front around that, plenty of precipitation, snow at higher elevations, rain at lower elevations, and a little bit of wind with that. Uh, meantime, uh, some uh, uh, wintry type uh, precipitation has moved into the Bristol Bay and southwestern Alaska, uh, and that's all associated with the 987 millibar low that's uh, just about to Dutch Harbor, and it is weakening too, but it still has a full occluded front, still some wind around that low, and then we have some high pressure over northwestern Alaska at 1,017. So let's take a look at the temperatures. First of all, for the lows on Saturday morning in the 20s along the Arctic coast, uh, then uh, as you get into the Brooks Range, uh, could see even a single digit there at Arctic Village, uh, uh, plus eight. But then as you get down into uh, the central interior, temperatures still below freezing, still allowing for that snow. But the further south you get, a little bit warmer, makes perfect physical sense that uh, then we have uh, temperatures in the mid 30s for uh, much of South Central and uh, even into the 40s over there for the, Alaska, uh, for the uh, Southeast Alaska, 39 for Yakutat. And then as you go out the Alaska Peninsula, again, staying uh, uh, pretty close to the temperatures of the warm water out there in the 40s, 37 for the Privilofs. So, so for Saturday afternoon, temperatures still in the 20s, but uh, uh, one thing uh, uh, I noticed was a little bit of uh, warm temperatures into the uh, southern part of the Chukchi Sea and down into Kotzebue Strait. Kotzebue showing 35 for uh, a high temperature on Saturday afternoon. Temperatures in the mid 30s all across uh, southern western Alaska and on down to southwestern Alaska. Bristol Bay, 42 degrees. And then uh, as you go out the Alaska Peninsula, almost to 50, the Pribble lost 45 degrees. In the meantime, South Central, uh, temperatures in the lower to mid uh, 40s. And then as you get over to Yakutat, expected a high of 50 degrees and uh, even up to 53 down there for Ketchikan. And then for our low temperatures on Sunday morning, uh, again, a little bit of cooling in the north. So what we're seeing is shave off a couple of degrees uh, in the 20s for the North Slope. Uh, again, Arctic Village about 8. Uh, then as we get down into the central interior, temp plenty of temperatures in the 20s and even a couple of readings in the teens. And then as we get further south, note that South Central now has got uh, some lows on Sunday morning below freezing and also for southwestern Alaska as well. You gotta get down all the way to the Pribilofs and the Alaska Peninsula to see those temperatures above freezing as well as along the northeast Gulf Coast and on over into the Panhandle. So for Sunday afternoon, highs in the 20s along the North Slope, uh, except for 33 uh, out by uh, Wainwright, and then we've got uh, uh, temperatures in the 30s as you get further south, 40s in South Central and 40s in Southwestern Alaska, and then almost the 50 as you go out the Alaska Peninsula and some readings in the 50s in the Southern part of the Panhandle. So for our six to 10 day temperature outlook, the way this works is these are, are probabilities of either above normal or below normal precipitation and the darker the colors, the uh, more probable it is. So for the northeastern Alaska, uh, a little bit higher probability of, of above normal precipitation for uh, uh, just around the, the very northeasternmost part of the state. And then in the meantime, as you go out the west coast and down across the Alaska Peninsula, and including Kodiak Island, a little bit more higher probability that we're going to see below normal temperatures. And the same thing with a slight probability that we're going to see below normal temperatures for the panhandle. And then for uh, our 8 to 14 day forecast for October 25th to the 31st, Halloween night, 
We've got a, a good chance of below normal temperatures along the West Coast and down into the Alaska Peninsula, also for South Central and on over across uh, Southeastern Alaska as well. And still at Northeastern portion, uh, 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 somewhat some probability that it's gonna be above normal temperatures. Below normal precip now for the middle and uh, lower Yukon area uh, on down to Dillingham. Otherwise, uh, uh, most of the area is uh, 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 expected normal type temperatures and uh, normal type precipitation. And then just a, a little bit of uh, uh, below normal uh, for uh, Southeast Alaska. So that's it for your public forecast, including the long range outlook. Uh, lots of uh, uh, activity going on with the response and recovery in southwestern Alaska and uh, still in response for all along the West Coast. Uh, so many villages got hit hard and so many people have had to be evacuated. It just, it, it's really heartbreaking how much damage those, last, those systems last weekend uh, uh, did uh, along the West Coast. So our, our uh, thoughts really going out for them. Please, everyone, stay safe out there.